Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just kind of sitting here, admiring the view that our new um, neighborhood is going to have of our town. <laughs> They're going to feel pretty isolated out here for a while. Yeah, and there's no longer a pop-up every time I turn the game on that says that it failed to uh, load a quick save. That was F9 in the game, and F9 is what I use to fire off my OBS and turn the recording on, so thankfully I never had used the quick save in order to, you know, click that and suddenly my game goes away and an old save shows up, and <laughs> that would be bad. Anyway, we are into autumn, getting close to November, or December. This guy just started. Um, yeah, I was going to say some things. That, that surprised me. Who are all of you? Bunch of builders. I think you just finished... Oh, you fin finished the granary. Okay, that's what's going on. And you're just heading back to... All taking a break? You are supplying resources to construction site. So you're... I don't know. What is that? Oh, that's, that's where you live, so that doesn't help. Okay. I guess you're going for a cart. Ah, three. Three are going for three carts. You are taking a break. Taking a rest. Okay. Three carts are going to go grab supplies to rush over and get to work on that one. Okay, that's what's going on. Anyway, yeah, we are getting close to December. Autumn is, is wrapping up. All the leaves are off. And, and um, that is a lot bigger of a spread than the plant life that is losing its leaves. I was watching Skibbets. I don't know if you've ever seen his channel he is he is a lot of fun to watch and someone had commented in one of his comments that this could well be a representation of of the uh, the soil being drained of moisture at the end of the year you know that's why it looks dry for so long i assumed it was just the the dead leaves falling down but yeah it is a bit much i don't know that's interesting uh, thing to represent there anyway moving on what are we up to this time i haven't sped it up yet i'm still getting my bearings here um i don't really have any plans we're just gonna build and build and build and start filling in some of these jobs i did get that's why i was staring at this i got a comment that came in last time that the orchards harvest in july so I've never seen that myself. So I won't state that that is fact or not until I've actually seen it myself. But I went ahead and set these these ladies for July, and, or June and July, to get back into the uh, orchards and get any pruning done they need to do, and and uh, get ready to do some harvesting. If I think of it next June and July, we'll pop in here and look and see what they're actually doing. <laughs> um. I guess let's just crank it up and see what happens. We're going to be getting a lot more people in. We're going to work on this guy. Let's figure this out. Now, I just generically say, yeah, whatever's available. But in the end, it's not very many. Even less over here. But that comes in at different times of the year. I mean, well, I guess it's, it's kind of random. Maybe somebody moved in with a whole bunch of extra horseradish, or maybe there's only a little bit of horseradish. And so for one month, it's here, and then it's gone. But you still need a space for it. So how do I deal with this? I might set it for the few that actually have stock somewhere. Let's set garlic manually and see how they go about stealing it from the other one. Buy from locals and... Let's put, we can hold 10,000. Let's put a 1,000 of each in, into each one. And we'll say take from other granaries. And we'll go over to the settings for the granaries that, I've, that are hard fought for to figure out exactly what we, what we want them to be and apply to all. Okay. And you, hire, will get somebody, hopefully locally, hopefully they do grab a job near where they work. But get somebody in there and see what they do with all that garlic. And boy, the snow's starting to come down. Um, over here, we have an overabundance of peas. So many peas. So many that I had to up the number 
on the the pea chart because it went red so we, we have we're making more peas than we're ever going to be able to sell although the peas don't have a uh, a rot bar we're about to lose the carrots in fact let's move some of the carrots down here um so maybe we can sell to folks down here before they're all gone carrots and sure we'll put oh one thousand in each of these and buy from locals and uh, there we go going to work let's see what she does is she going to go steal all of the garlic do i have to say no just give me 25 here and 25 there let's go let's follow her in fact i can do that right follow okay let's go see what she does of course you're going to get a cart to go and get 25 carrots aren't you what do you want to bet <laughs> yeah sometimes the carting is not beneficial she could probably carry the same amount she can do in the cart, but now we have a cart locked up. But let's just follow her and see what she does. They do sneak through my... my. Uh, this, I'm trying to get grass growing behind you. Oh, I didn't. I took the fence out because it didn't line up right. I didn't put it back in. You grabbed 111 garlic. Let go. And that left... You took all of it. You took all of it. Now, if I tell you to take from other granaries, are you going to take it back? I got to know. So you're heading all the way down here. I think that's you. Garlic, yeah. And you dumped it into here. And now you're going to go rid of that cart. So I'm going to turn you uh, right there. Workers by hand only. And let's go ahead and make that around. Do that with everyone. Okay. So now what's going to happen? You are going to go back to work. Um, really quickly, that was here. So you are working. You're not doing anything. Hmm. So what are you doing now? You went home for a rest, because that was exhausting. Yeah. So, how do we deal with this? I don't know. For starters, we say, hey, go grab that garlic before it's gone, because <laughs> it's going to be gone here in a second. I wonder if they're just going to bounce it back and forth and back and forth, and these guys can grab it whenever it happens to be in their own granary. Hmm. Don't know what to make of that. If I were to just say, go for it, yeah, it's everything. And it just does 1250, which all adds up to 10,000, I'm guessing. Hmm. All right. Tell you what. Where are you at? You? Yeah. Move you to the front. And we'll just let the granary wars begin. <laughs> Pretty soon the town will be in flames. <laughs> This neighborhood will side with this, these granaries. That new neighborhood will side with them. They'll take up their pitchforks and torches and go after each other. <laughs> so how's the poor family doing? All right, the Zayats. You're still at 16, but we haven't really progressed much since then. Uh, we're rolling to January and see if that goes up or down. So 16.4. There's not much new to buy, except there's a lot less garlic. So they shouldn't have a reason to go and buy a bunch of stuff. And I was informed that my purchase of 100 warm clothes was not as valiant as I thought it was. I thought, you know, 70 some people, 100 clothes. Hey, we're set. Apparently it takes several pieces per in order to influence the warm clothes quality level. Though you're doing pretty good. You're, you could use a few more, and you can use a lot more. So it apparently never made it to this part of town. Yeah. Okay, so we will need to buy a lot more. We're at 327. 329 just went up. Uh, treasury, 327. So we're paying wages. We are collecting taxes. We're paying more wages. It bounces around. Do we have a sense of a prognosis or a, a, a projection of where we are going? Balance 
between the two, the green and the red, is a negative 204, but that's because of what we bought versus what we sold. That's the biggest influences. Um, that just moved, so now we're at 324. Okay, so we've got a lot of salaries. Our taxes are not covering our salaries, that's for sure. Local sales versus local purchases, so there's you know 500 difference there, so that's a big bonus. So, 1,200 salary versus 6, 12, 13, 14 ish coming in to counter 12 something going out there. If we don't count our ins and outs of the trading dock or trading post, what was that? Home built. Okay. So, we just. We may be close to balance if we can balance out our trading. Make sure we're not buying much more than we are selling. And Marefa is a horrible example because we like their stuff and they don't like any of our stuff. Here's our warm clothes. Yeah. So let's buy let's buy a hundred warm clothes every time they come by. And we just dropped it 317. We did. We're into January, though. Okay, last warm clothes of the of the uh, of the winter, and then we'll hopefully by next winter be in a better situation. Um, let's slow this down so this timer doesn't go by too quick and think through things. Sunflower, we have. We're not going to sell it. We want to get the. I think you're right there, or right now you're right here. I think the oil works, and we'll start making oil to sell to them. They will buy sunflower oil. Okay. Now I was told that linseed is a byproduct of flax, and that then can be sent to the oil works and turn into an oil to sell. I don't think it's going to be called sunflower oil, and I don't know that I've ever seen a second oil name. So I'll have to, I'll have to figure out how that works. Lime dried fish. <laughs> that's a dream. Someday we'll have some. Buckwheat. That's not a thing right now. Flour is a thing quite often. So yeah, let's do some flour. I'd do 270 the next notch up but I can't guarantee it's going to be here so we'll go ahead and get that one going sell that um, chicken eggs I doubt is a thing and will be for quite some time we don't have that many chickens yet new family settling in wonderful horseshoe salt iron metal parts we do have some metal parts floating around but I would really hate to sell them I'd rather make something out of them and sell that and the flax again well turn into our so we need to find some things to sell and right now the best candidate is clothing lots and lots and lots of clothing and we've got textiles we've got 50 sitting there we have lots of raw materials to make textiles from and we've got 110 sitting in here um seems like we would have had more by now is there still some down in here where am i Textile. No, they've hauled it all out of here. Okay. So textile total then. Oh, wait, that's supposed to be sitting over here. So 110. There it is. 210. 270 in stock to get transferred over to here. So what is happening here? We just made 10, and 10 is being reserved probably by this lady right here to fill up her. to fill up. there right no that's not one that's not it here somebody just grabbed those 10 who are you you are the trading post oh we had said send some clothes down here too so we can sell them okay clothes are there and you guys aren't looking for clothes are you i didn't notice that now okay so yeah we want to be selling clothes as well okay so almost as fast as the clothes are coming down with the exception that these guys are grabbing clothes there's 20 in there so they do grab some of the 
you know, randomly another load is being done and they'll grab it. You are, I wish it showed a sense of, of, um, the production, you know, some kind of an animation to show that she is working, uh, to show a, a woman, you know, running a, a, I don't know what they would have used as a sewing machine back then. I don't know if there were treadle sewers at that point or not. I don't remember what year those started out, but I don't know. All, all we get is a green up arrow and that feels a little lacking right now. Um, until, well, it's a, it's, it's a balancing thing here. She has to make it, then she has to go get a textile, then she has to make it and go get a textile. Or I could get a laborer in here to haul that for her, but if there was a laborer available, she would have hired on and she'd be there sewing with her. And while one is working, the other is walking next door and getting the textile. So it's just not going to work. But let's just set the three for now. And as more and more of these houses fill in, this one just filled in. Family came in. She's unemployed, but, you know, give her a break. She hasn't gotten here yet. <laughs> but that's probably a job for her and or she's working the market stall. She's working the small granary. So maybe what is the next job that's available down here? Well, for that matter, another market stall. Not yet. Okay, then turn you back off. Because um, really nothing came down. And are you not stealing any of these from the others? Apparently you're not. So let's get rid of onions and move peas into there, since we know those exist. And we'll just set you for more like 500 and see if you suddenly take off to go steal 500 peas. You are working. Okay. It's the end of your shift. You're looking at the clock saying, no, no, no. I'm not going to go make that walk. No, no, no. Why are you guys stripping trees out of the forest? Well, maybe you're not. I don't know how many trees were on here to begin with, but it just seemed like they were coming from up here. Where is our next tree in regard to them? That's on the other side. This one, right there. They should be taken from here. I would like to make sure that they truly are. And they, of course, just went home. Uh, you are buying food. You are taking a rest. And you are buying food. Okay. When you come back home, no, you're taking a rest. I want to watch them. I want to see where they're taking trees from. And you went and got some firewood. Oh, you are a laborer? Supplying resources. You are filling this up, aren't you? Okay. And now you are... Supplying resources. So you shifted to a different job. After doing that quick little run of firewood. Sometimes it's really beneficial in these kind of games. to You grab firewood out of here. Are we out of firewood over here? We are. No, that's logs. Firewood. All kinds. So she went here to get firewood, went back, and then ran across town to get firewood to run back. Because maybe somebody else already had this queued up to get firewood for, and so she went to the next available source. Now someone ran in, but they didn't leave. Okay, well, we should have you guys working, taking a rest, working. Working means what? I don't see any indication if you're cutting up lumber or what you're doing. I thought you would be out grabbing. Interesting. They are calling for 18. They've got 18. Now they're processing it. And I got to thinking, how about we take these down some to make sure that we never run out of room in in the storage of these guys. But this one over here is calling for 18, but they've got 99 because they've been clearing out all of these, these building sites. 
Why have we had so much trouble with the other one? There's still drop logs over here. There were 14 or 16 at the end of the last episode. So the other ones, they just never seemed... To, I've never seen them actually go to a building site other than maybe the salt works and do what the other ones do. Is there a problem with the second forester? The first one gets all the orders. The second one just does what they want. Um, let's take you guys down as well, something like that. Make sure that we never see this capacity max out again. So that if there is a problem with them, then not going to get more logs, that won't be a thing. So let's do that. But what is with you dudes? There's nothing I've got to push, click, to say... Go and clear out building sites first. There's no form of a settings in that regard. Destroy, make empty, move by wagon and cart. No, I don't see anything. Yet these guys have never really done the job that the other one has done. They've always... Okay. You are... Forester... And you are chopping a tree. Okay. And you're going into the woods. There's a building site right here. I need four logs taken down. What are you doing? Dudes. You're going to walk over there and take a tree out. So, give me your thoughts on that one. What is the difference between these guys who have done a great job of taking trees down on all of these building sites. Yeah, kudos, guys. And here's the settings. Sold firewood. Okay. Nothing else there to click. No differences. And then down over here, this one. Yet these guys only want to take trees out of the forest. I mean, I shouldn't need... I should not need to have to come in here and say, can you take these trees out? Seriously? I mean, this, this should not be necessary. I'll do it if it means getting the game working again, but something's not right there. Um, hate to do any extra that I don't need to, but we'll go with that for now. But you guys are now all going to go on a break, so I can't even test it at the moment. You're still bringing that one log in. All right, speed you up again. And where did you go to work? You're still unemployed. And I really wonder if they do have a limit to how far they're willing to go to find work. How far they're willing to walk from their home. And that might be what we're seeing right here. In which case... The idea of firing everybody in March to go and work on the uh, sowing the farm fields might be a good reset to let people find new jobs close to their home. That might be a, a tool to use to our advantage. Um, did you ever get peas? I didn't mark you for that. Okay, did you ever get peas? You did not. Right there. Well, that shouldn't make a difference. They're not buying from local producers. You should be taken from another granary. And you're not. Alright. I don't know what to do to make that work. I really don't. It could well be that these granaries are just kind of too far away from each other. Maybe you have to have a cart in order to make that long of a run. Okay. Is that a thing? You didn't suddenly get the order. Okay, let's just trigger you from scratch. Peas. And 500. And go. And turn you on. And no, no, didn't work. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. As these guys grow their crops, they will have things to sell to here. In fact, I'm curious if I, besides garlic, do that and repopulate uh, right there. 
and then set everything, those that just moved in might have too much of something in their homes and bring them over to sell them. We'll see if that happens. You are a builder. You are still sitting here theoretically working. Okay, well, buy cart didn't work, so we'll turn that back off. And I guess we'll just let this roll for a while. Okay, kick it back up again. We are slowly building this up. 6,400 in out of 10,000. So another, another 3,500 or so to bring over. This one over here, we do have somebody working here. We do not. You guys are off to go cut more trees down. Yeah, see, this is working. They're doing what they're supposed to do. We've got more than 100 trees calling for 18, and they're still clearing out the building sites. Now, what are you guys doing? So, you are going to work, taking a rest, getting drinking water. Let's see if that changes. Small granary's done, and taking a rest. Okay, two are taking a rest right now. You we got Dracachi just showed up. Uh, slow you down. We might, might be able to sell quite a bit to Dracachi. So workers, so will you unemployed? Hopefully you will work. Let's quickly say, you know, just women and apply to all and enable seasonal no. Okay, so you are going to be this lady when she is when she gets home after buying her firewood unless someone else gets it first so you taking a rest now you got to think about it for another week then maybe you'll take the job otherwise that's what's left and allow all of that and we'll just see how that works give it time for the system to kind of even itself out balance balance things find people to move things from here to there and little by little it might surprise you you go back and check it again and oh it's working and not even realize that it happened all right so what happened with you we still have nobody else working here and we may not until we get more houses up in this area that makes sense the new area is just too far away which means I might want to put a few more houses up in here. Start my my planned, you know, moving roads along the shore, the slope of the, of the hill here. I'm thinking a road that comes in to this area. So we're coming into here and we're heading around, but we could also head straight in and put another house right here. Kind of like that idea. And I know these guys will take the trees down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's set one. Let's just do that. So you, house, we'll set like two or three and let these build and see if it helps us here. Because I have a lot more jobs I need to employ in here. Um, you enter from, I think, the street. No, no. Nope, that is right. From the street. Okay, so we, yeah, we want to line both sides of this little street here. Though there isn't much there. Let me think about this. Do we come off the back side of these? Hmm. Been staring at this for a while. Let's plan for a road here and a road here. Houses in between. For long-term growth. At least leave the road available for that. So you then want to be about here and feeding down into that road. So set you. So it's supposed to be well right here. That's why that is in place. So that's about as close there as I would want. And I want you in about like that same distance there to there. Okay. If this is what I think it is, you're in there. Now... Slope-wise, though, we're supposed to go this way. So how do we make all that fit? So you're in quite a bit. Like that. And rotate you around like so. Kind of funky. Don't like it. 
Okay. Um, you could go back further. We're not limited to that distance. You don't have to hit that corner. So if you're there, now yeah, where are we at? Still want to go higher. Well, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I, I redid that 15 times. <laughs> Trying to get a property, a house, that is somewhat paralleled out there. And yet continuing this existing path and forming what would be a new road. So it's going to be... What's... Is that Times Square? What's the, the building there in, here in New York City that is a really thin, long triangle? Well, that's kind of what I just formed here. Um, one, two, three, four. I can get a, a funky property line right here to wrap around this one, maybe. <laughs> I think that will accomplish the goal. It'll get us... It's the seed property. It's, it's the starter point to take off in the right direction, at least. But yeah, it took a while to make something function for that. So hit enter there. We've still got some time before for sowing season begins. Let's set one more based on that. So I would say we're working on finishing this direction first. So you are like so and like so. And place is occupied because we're crossing right there. So I'm going to have to kick you back in just a little bit. And, of course, the house is in the way. You then come up to this point. Now that doesn't quite work. That's a really funky... Yeah, boy, five points would sure be nice. It really would. To do the crazy things that I want to do. Okay, I guess it comes down to... This is a place for a bench and a tree we're gonna we're back to something like this okay so you're gonna be somewhere in there somewhere in there house is inside all right so pathway comes in a little jog right there like we put in right here which worked great for a, a tree and a bench so we can we can fix little errors like that in fact let's give you a little bit more room and where to go here? Do you kind of just end the back up there? You know, that might be a way to deal with this. Pathway eventually takes off this way. Otherwise, a path that goes through here, the well is not in there. Ooh. Yeah, I need more room. I guess the well doesn't fit there anymore. I may have to redo this one more time off camera to get the well to fit in there properly because this is going to be most likely into the yellow of the well right there so this kicks in just a little bit more so is this property good enough um i want you about that wide don't need wagon access through here so much so some of our roads can be a little bit narrower yeah i think that works so let's just oh house does what now and yeah, boy there's a lot of trees in there it's gonna be a while before they get to this house R and T for rotate. If you were living in there, where what view would you want? We can look at the other houses. We can kind of look toward the chicken coop a bit. Don't know if that's a benefit or not. Just kind of a diagonal there in the kind of yeah. Maybe we'll touch the corner here, which would give you lots of room around like that. We got another field. Enter. Let's go deal with that one. So that gives us five fields, five fields this year to sow because we don't have anything. It has to go fallow right this moment. So we've got hemp, wheat, potato, sunflower, and 16 days to figure it out. Um, pop you into there. Barley. What is barley used for besides beer or some kind of, of an alcohol later? Um, it can be used for chicken feed. Buckwheat can too. 
And that is what's happening here, buckwheat and sunflower. Now I would like to make a lot of oil. So something to sell. So maybe we go two rounds of sunflower and just have a, a bumper crop this year. Let's do that though. Let's, okay, if we're gonna fallow second, second, third, this one's gonna go away. This will go away soon because the intent was to give us another field while we were cutting all these trees down. Four was the plan. Um, what do you need? Hemp needs 10 and 60. We have 50 and 100. So we're, we've got a good solid crop yet coming in. Okay. So I could... So we're fallow here. What we really need is to be fallow here. That's really what it comes down to. Fallow year two, fallow year two, fallow year three, fallow year one. So in that case, yeah, we'll make you sunflower, we'll make you buckwheat. And that will stagger out this one. So we have a fallow field every year for what I think is going to be the cow shed soon. In fact, maybe it's time to do it. Maybe it is. Let's make that happen. Okay. So you need to move. And you need to be back here. Let's go ahead and set the brickworks so I know where not to put the the uh, clay pit. Brickworks is second page. I don't remember. There you are. You're a big one. You're a big boy. Okay. Rotate you around. Your entrance is kind of in this area. You could be just kind of set in there. I mean, that doesn't look bad at all. It really doesn't. Do I want a pathway to get me through these woods to this clearing out over here someday? To do something over here? And if so, what is that pathway? Bearing in mind, if I move it one square inch, I go from no trees to, to a whole bunch of trees that have got to come down. So I can sneak in a few like that and give us a gap over here. Maybe that's the route to go. So if you go there, then clay can go anywhere that's green where all the rest of these trees are. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Do we just clay out in here? It would be a lot wiser. It's going to take a long time to move that other clay pit. Or we come up with a, just another temporary place for a clay pit. And then move it again later. So we can move the other one and get the cow shed set. This is primarily for the benefit of this one. Well, workshop is done. So aiming it that way... Well... Yeah. For the longest time, though, it's going to be every building that we build is going to be dependent on this one and only clay pit. So which means it would be wiser to point it out like that. No, no, because the finished product is going to, the lower fence is going to be even with the, the base of there. So let's go there. Place is occupied right there. All right, so you need to go in immediately, and you will build immediately. There's no trees to take out, so you'll be, in fact, what are you? Nothing, they just got to go over there and dig it. It's just labor involved. Then this can go away. And, all right, so we are middle of February. This guy is built. We want this to be, I would say, seasonal hiring and cancel in March like the other ones. That should be fine. Um, let's let... Hmm. What do I want here? there let's let these guys haul their own stuff worker by hand and cart not use laborers and then let's go ahead and put in one worker and we'll just see what happens here um actually two at the beginning and get stuff hauled and get making some oil and of course a lot of that oil is going to want to go into the markets everyone's going to be buying that up like crazy which means that we've got uh 
you know, we'll sell the sell them in town, which is an income for us. We, may, of course, bring money into the village by selling it outside of the village, and that brings more money inside of here to then pay as wages to then give back to us to pay back out as wages and give back to us through the markets. So it's always good to be trading out what you can just for the influx of gold to come into the into the system over here. Um. For that matter, let's go ahead and just set up a line item for Sunflower Oil. Oh, it's a long list. There you are. And we will grab, oh, 100 to begin with. But yeah, our people are going to suck that up real quick. Okay. So... Would the main granary do any better at this than the small granaries there's something i don't know do they have a longer reach would turning off buy from locals cause them to go and pick it up if i turn that off will you then find another way to get it that's not by locals no so i'll take from okay that didn't help. <laughs> How do I get her to get up there and get all those peas? I don't know. It's a little frustrating. I'm sure there's a way. Any hints in here? Citizens will not sell if the granary is too far from their home or if they don't have at least a year's worth of food already. Clay pit's done. Um, you can click on set resource slot automatically. Um, resources which are already stored in nearby granaries will not be added to the list. Okay, right, if they're right next door to each other. But it added all of these because there, there's no local granaries. That's too far away over there. It's just these guys. So they didn't duplicate each other's. But still, there's got to be some way to get these folks to... Yeah. I don't know. Let me know what you know about that. Having the granary here is going to buy stuff from this group and then resell it in here. But I don't know how to make two regions that are too far from each other interact. Do I need to get a granary in between somewhere and transfer everything to here and then use this as a main distribution center between this group and this group? Let me know what you think of that idea. There's got to be a way to make it work. And, well, I don't, know, I don't think it was banished. It was probably like Colonial Charter in Banished. They had the sense of a relay system. They had buildings, I don't remember the names anymore, but they would then be charged with bringing all the firewood from this area to a place over in this area and just keep stocking back and forth in that sense. So... Maybe we use the cart shed to move a specified amount from here to a central point. I don't know. So, yep, yeah, there may be lots of different ways to, to, to fix this, and I don't know what they are without a lot of trial and error. And No point in me trial and erroring if you guys already know the answer. So demolish you and move you to the beginning. And don't necessarily need you built just yet. Just wanted to know where you were going to go. For that matter, I guess we could set the sand pit too. Sand pit is definitely going to be back in here though. And I think eventually the clay pit will be as well. I just don't want to deal with those trees right now. Okay, clay pit, pit is gone. We are at the end of February and I want to check out our, our poor family. I keep calling them to... Let's go a little bit further to make sure we've got lots of green in there. The pathway is up here if there is a pathway. So you can be all the way out over here and be fine. You can be touching because we can get around both sides. All right, so you're good there. You can stay over there. We're not ready for sand yet. Okay, so slow down again. Give me time to do this before we change the month. We are losing. So you're down to 12 something from 16. Okay, so that was too aggressive of a jump. I doubled it. So treasury... Let's take you back into 
75 instead of 50 or one dollar these can stay the same unless we take you down see I was gonna say well, how about we bring the rent up for everybody a little bit and then not harm the land tax as much but the idea with the land tax is the more land you've got the more you've got to sell to us and we are buying it whether we can sell it again or not we're buying it so you do have that income coming in to make up for the extra land that you've got so don't want to affect the house rent so much as to tap into the potential of all the extra land hmm i'm not Wealth tax isn't really an issue here. It's it's the bottom end that's that I'm trying to figure out right now. Um, we're at 302, so we are losing. So we can't afford. Yeah, we're we're in a death spiral right now, aren't we? I think we are. Um, purchase from citizens 90%. If I take that down to help us, we hurt them there. No matter what I do, I hurt them. So let's just get some more items. I didn't really sell everything to that last one. Yeah, I don't think I ever went through the list. We got distracted, and Dracachi had come in, and I didn't get to deal with that. I think I went off to go check one item on their list, and then <laughs> rabbit trailed all over the place. <laughs> okay, well, here in a day or so, a whole bunch of people are going to be laid off, including you guys. March, yeah. And you guys too? Yeah, we're... Whoa. Where's our nails? Nails. There's a thousand out there. I guess they all just got moved into here. Okay. So we're still a thousand ahead. Let's also tell you guys to shut down in March. And... You? Now we'll leave you going. I have at least one source of nails 24-7. Okay, so you're March. You guys have not started up yet. You're going to wait until the end of March as well. And you guys have already dropped down to three. Oh, we're March? No. Oh, you were at three. Okay. So you guys are going to be three and zero. I'm even tempted to get rid of the three because you're not doing the job I want you to do. What do we got? You have been taking down the trees I've marked. Okay. I forced you to work, and now you're working. Okay, so we're down to one tree left. All right, you are working. All right, you just saved your jobs. So you guys are fives. So you're going to drop down to three. Five, three, and you will continue working. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, um, we'll just see this work. We should th see this explode. And I didn't get that set. You are fallow. Okay. And you're going to take its place for this one time. Um, these are all the jobs available. You guys have all been laid off. And you're all going to run home. And think real hard about resting. And someday going back to work. Which is what most people do when they quit their job anyway. They take a week or two off and rethink their priorities. All right, we're starting to come back in. We're probably three or four days into March. There's three available. Our number one is wheat. That's this guy? That is this guy. Okay, now we're all starting to come in. Will they as well grab, slow you down, these other jobs? Because there are lots of vacancies for laborers around. Does the game automatically default to the farm, which I would think it should, when March hits for laborers? We've asked laborers to help out nowhere back in here. The warehouses I want to keep running. So these ladies are still employed. And the market stalls, I want those all to keep running. And because things do continue to rot. You are there. We never got anything in here. Nothing's ever happened down here. Nothing ever has. Wow. Okay, so you guys remained at three. You guys dropped to three. You guys went vacant. Okay, and that is there. 
run to get the sewing done. This should be a lot more successful year for sewing than last time because I've, I haven't made any mistakes this time and sent them all home twice. So yeah, we're gonna, in fact, we're already doing the final field. No, these are the final fields. Yeah. And they won't go back until April. So we should get all kinds of labor jobs that have been waiting taken care of. Now you are not employed yet. Okay. So we're still in there. We're starting to drop off as these fields are getting completed. And we have used up the rest of the flax and wheat that was waiting to be threshed with our one worker here. So she spent the winter threshing out all the rest of that. That's good. We're all done. We've got one field left. Last little bit of this field. And we had to go drop off and get seed or we had to go take a whole bunch of breaks. You are fallow. Oh, we're done. Okay. So we're done. So this filled up. We've got laborers in there. Did this... No, nobody jumped into this one yet. We have firewood, right? We have lots. We have lots. And now that I've done this, how are we looking? We've got a lot more cushion over here. And a lot more cushion over here. Okay, so we shouldn't run into that problem anymore of not having storage space left. We're still into March. What are we accomplishing now that we have so many people? I see a lot of activity here. So we are now moving. This is there's eight to nine thousand in here. We're already down to five. So they are hauling this stuff like crazy, filling in all of these places. Firewoods or the charcoals filling up over there. We need a thousand over here. Waiting for charcoals. A thousand coming. So that's getting filled up. Yeah, that's a nice little shot in the arm. Kind of fire everybody for a month. And that's not a bad idea when you're low on laborers. Take note of that, folks. Fire them once in a while. <laughs> and like I said, it could reset where everybody works. When they rehire for new jobs, they might grab something that's a little bit closer to home, which will make them a lot more efficient. Getting these carts repaired make them a lot more efficient, too. You are what? Storage is full. Which means we don't have room to make anything more now. Okay, there's a problem. So storage for this place is only 6,000. Oh, I thought it was 10. Oh, okay. So in that case, let's make you a 5,000. And hopefully you guys can find a way to get rid of some extras there. If not, I may have to go manually do something. But let's wait till they get back to work and see what they actually do with that. Um... Any of the buildings that messed up like that? I've never had this place full before. You guys, I have been asking for 2,000. Well, that shot in the arm. What's going to happen here? You are filling up again. When you hit 10,000, you'll fire off. You are being filled up again. We're going to have a lot of fire, a lot of charcoal. And you will be filled up again, too. So let's take you back to 5,000 so we have more to sell here real soon while we have um, laborers to bring it all down. Okay, so that's there. We're buying honey. We have the honey. Great. Okay, then. Well, that was a successful uh, venture. Good. And what is next? Let's... Just watching for April to hit and see how jobs fill back in and where they fill back in. So a lot of these jobs were filled. Actually, they were filled by people who live over there instead of people who live over here. You were unemployed, you were unemployed, and you were a forester. Let's get rid of the other two foresters and let these unemployed grab these jobs possibly. So you are right there. So I want to fire you and you. Let's give things a little while to reset. You're all going to go back home again. Going to hire two more jobs. Are you 
these two jobs you are so these guys now have a local job perfect and that is 24 7 no seasonal hiring yeah so you guys will continue to have those jobs so where did you ever go to work you went to work that one you're that one you're that one perfect so with the next house i'll open up another stall and maybe get the other person working down here in the fishing dock okay let's well no fishing is not as important it it really isn't it's, it's interesting but we have lots of food coming in in all different ways so let's get a cash crop going so you will be firing up again in april and there'll be two people hired and maybe at the beginning go ahead and give you laborers where's that here laborers by cart and start filling this up bring all the sun some sunflower seed over and linseed over so I'm only seeing sunflowers as a possibility. So apparently linseed does not go into there. Do you sell in a market stall? I'm pretty sure I'm full everywhere. If I hit this, dried fruit and cabbage will go into here now. So hire one more lady or do I get rid of anything? Um, I could get rid of the second round of eggs. Let's do this. Slow down, because I want to. I want to watch April. Um, none, none. Okay, dried fruit and cabbage. So the eggs are sold up there by the chicken coop. So let's change you to dried fruit. And cabbage can go where? I would have thought that we were selling cabbage by now. Really would have. Um, ten reserved. 10 reserved people are coming back and buying stuff from the markets yeah I don't know anywhere else that has 10 reserved unless this one finally decided to go get some peas are here and no you're not working so <laughs> I guess that's somebody's oh a market stall oh someone is coming to buy from the market stall so we're gonna sell cabbage now Onions and cucumbers. Hmm. Let's just transfer you to cabbage. We'll do that. So you should, when you get back to work, you're buying food for yourself. Interesting. <laughs> you need food at home too. All right, so we're up and running again. We've got you filled up. We filled you up. We did not fill the tailor shop. Okay. That one hurts. We need more ladies in this area. Or we need to shut down some of these stalls. I may have to do that. I may have to, to micromanage this a little bit. We only have so many things to actually sell. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I narrowed it down to four stalls over here. So we've got sunflower oil in there, which we're now making huge batches I see they're starting to plant their uh, their gardens nice um, firewood salt we're, we're out of salt I I wasn't looking for it we've got salt sitting down here and that's it you're empty there's nothing down in the trader where we got it from how do we I guess there's salt in every one of the houses not yours not yours where did all the salt go? Wow. And we're 294. Okay. Um, you slow down. You are making oil like crazy. There's 300. Is there only that much sunflower seed left? Have we gone through all that already? So nothing's sitting over there. We've got 48 over there. We've got none over there. Wow. We went through that quick. Okay. So let's grab, I said 100, let's grab 300, 400. Let's grab 400 and sell all that we can. Okay. Am I writing? There. So grab what's left of this and then I guess unemploy these guys. This is going to be a pretty seasonal thing apparently. So where is that? Here. We're going to, okay, stop that. 
we're going to harvest in August, and you guys are going to be done with it by the time you hit November. You really are. Uh, so, December, January, February, we're in April. You should easily be done by the time April's over. Yeah. So I'll get rid of that later. That's pretty much the run for the amount of crops that we actually have in these this, this size of a field. Okay. So, all right. I'm starting to accept the fact that the larger fields would have their benefits. Even larger than these. And with the idea of firing everybody in March, that makes it then more feasible. It wasn't feasible before. We didn't have the labor to do it. But now it makes more sense. Um, where? We can only store so many trees, so many logs. Where do you do it? Best to do it on this slope if possible, yeah. But there's so many trees on this slope. I could very quickly slam that all together right here. Um, even almost get another. I wonder if there's a distance limit. Curious. If I say add a field, uh, there to there to there to there. Field is not activated. Can I trigger you guys to all come over and do this one time? You make use of this land and get some sunflowers out of it. Let's do that again, make it as big as possible, and we'll try that as an experiment. So add field, and exactly where? Let's go real close to this. Um, can I go far enough? I cannot. So let's let go. Let's go right here. So I can go as far as there. 49, so 50 units. What if we try A50 by 50? It still won't fit, will it? It's really close, though. Oh, that's so close. Right there. Good enough. You are connected to there. You are going to be Sunflower and activate. I'm curious if this will suddenly go into panic mode and bring everybody down there to do that so we have something else to sell this fall let's do this and just make that happen one time kind of an experiment get that planted and see what we can do with that all right, so I have no idea how long this episode is. I've stopped so many times to plan things and figure things out that I'm going to be clipping a lot of a lot of stuff out of here. Where's the there and there? And then there was going to be one more over here, but yeah, these are these are not going to happen anytime soon. I need to get this stuff going again. So, let's I need to get the tailor going cuz I need to sell that stuff. So I guess I have to take you out to put you into here. Is there any other way to deal with this? You never fire, so you're always hired. Okay. Is there any other way to get ladies? I don't know of an industry that I can strip. Um, Population-wise. So open vacancies. For men, 24. Does that count all the possible laborer jobs that are available? I don't know. Otherwise, unemployed, one, basically, one woman. And a bunch of guys right now. Maybe that's two. But we know of one, I just fired her. And we know of six right here, I just fired them. To get this guy going for one more month, and then they'll do a bunch of laborer jobs. Okay. So, turn you on, let you run and then we'll get more houses in but these houses aren't doing the benefit that i thought they would i thought these guys would fill in all the jobs but they're too far away they are in fact they're far enough away now that i think it would be wise to shut down all of these 
and say that was a mistake. Let's save the materials. So what's happening here? Undo, demolish. Messenger from Dracachi. Okay, slow down. I want to take full advantage of that. Um, you're right there, but you're going to have to be taken apart. Okay. So you are available. So move you to the front next. Where are you? You're right there. So you move into there. You are a well. That can wait. You are a trading dock. That can give us more possibilities. But you would be next. So you are... Oh, those are tiny little boxes. You're right there. So you're next. Let's get these three built. So you would be right after that. You? Right there. You're after that. So let's get these six houses going. Making them a little bit closer and able to fill in at least these jobs. Then I can fire all of them and send them up into there as soon as we fill these houses. But doing these last six over here might not be the wisest thing at this time. I could have... Yeah, I, I could have not deleted them and just put them back into the list. But, yeah, I'll, I'll reset them later. Okay, well, dear Kachi, what have we got here? Let's acknowledge the messenger... And you want to buy shoes, and that's what I didn't sell to you last time. Thank you, 500 and I will take the $160. Whew, that right there is going to save us. Deal. You want charcoal? Yeah. Town storage is 22000 Whoa. Let's, let's do all 9000 Deal. We have in here 1400 so let's hire you guys and tell you guys to take those jobs and get all that brought down here yeah make sure that fills up as well as laborers let's get the 9000 down here we need the income and that income is 452. Let's get a huge infusion of gold into our city. Just like firing all these guys to do these other tasks. Just we're, we're going into triage mode right now. Let's shore ourselves up so we can continue this experiment called Ostrov. World map, what else can we sell? <clears throat> Oil, we've got... So 400 is what we've actually got in stocks. So we'll do the 400 and mm, deal but after that I want to pull you you're going to strip the town now of everything we have left 100 goes in until we get to the next harvest actually zero just take you out okay so honey is available we have 200 do you guys buy honey uh, right there 200 to sell to you guys there deal. Is there a limit on how many deals you can do? Buckwheat we don't have. Chicken eggs we don't have. Sunflower oil we've done. Clothes we have 150 clothes. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, deal. I do need to buy salt. We're, we're dangerously low and it's not that expensive. So 500 is 50. Alright, we'll do that. Um, can't Export over five deals at once. Okay. Now I can continue to import. All right. So, and if that first one arrives in time, it might open us up to do one more. Um, iron around town. Let's just kind of take an inventory here. I've got 200 sitting in there. You have got almost 500. And you have got 180. We've got iron for a while. Let's not worry about that. You are selling cows, horses, dried fish, potatoes. I think we're okay there. All right. So there is what? From the top, 160. What's that? 610, 680, 700 coming into the town, 50 leaving. All right, I feel a lot better about that. These guys will get in here 
and laborers will come in. We don't have a limit to our laborers. That's interesting. Here you can limit... Somewhere I saw a bar with 20. Is that in this one? Labor limit. There we are. So here we don't have a labor limit. I could say, no, I only want four people at a time working here. But I haven't dealt with this because that's never been a problem for me. <laughs> you got to have the laborers to worry about it. But you guys will finish your haul and you'll come in, even though I fired you. My, I'm paused. Oops. Okay, so that takes care of that. We'll get a little more of a buzz of activity than we'll call this episode done. But I think that... Yeah, I think it's just something I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to uh, get this guy stocked up and get hauling this stuff as fast as you can. 1600 is on its way in. Carts are getting low. You are employed again. Let's force you to work on... Now, I was going to say, let's get these up to snuff, but this isn't the time to do it. They need them right now. As these four fill in, they're all going to grab carts and go. So we'll repair those later. Carts up in here are in better shape. And carts over here are in better shape. And yeah, I can see we are going to eventually need carts over here. Okay. You're mothballed. You are. You will get back into this other one soon. Is there still a tree here? There's not. And there's not here. So these are all good. Okay. But yeah, we'll do these other houses later. Um, I could say don't. Um, we'll just take you out of the list. So you just head back and we'll deal with you later. Leave you half built. How many housing tracks have you seen out there where they started building houses and something went wrong and they just sit there half built for the longest time? Yeah, I know. It's kind of a shame, but continuing to build over there when it's not giving us any employment over here kind of doesn't make any sense. I need more houses over here. I think it's what it comes down to. So in between episodes, I think I'll sit down and plan out maybe five or six in here so that these guys can just be constantly chipping away at those properties. What else is there to chip away at? The fishing docks down there with trees are just the houses on the other side and the two that we just put in. So they must already be working over here. Uh, six trees left. I'm thinking there were seven. And you're over here. There's 11 trees in there. There's going to be a lot of trees in here. But yeah, I would like to see this road kick off like this. Well, like this. And then another road kick off somewhere off like this. Maybe we'll just do the one. House on both sides of it. Call it good. And then we'll start moving. We'll get this going again when we get more industry over here and start moving this direction. Yeah. Okay. So wherever that did land, we're in May, so we can't check up on this. I think I will call this episode finished and sort out all the details. And wow, what happened there? We still have plenty of resources left, but yeah, the second time around is not as good. Well, that's pretty good there, but boy... Oh, no, yeah, you're wheat. I was going to say you're fallow, but no, you're the fallow one. Yeah, that's first time done. Right? Yeah, I think we did plant that last time. Hmm. Anyway, yep. Going to call this one done here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.